Rudston, England. This ancient village in Yorkshire has been inhabited for more than 5,000 years, and several of its Neolithic structures are still standing, as well as a number of monoliths. But one towers above the rest. The Rudston monolith is the tallest standing stone in Britain. Currently, it is 25 feet in height, and it weighs 40 tons. Some researchers say that the monolith was found at Caton Bay, which is about 10 miles from Rudston, and was carried up onto the hill. So the effort involved to try to lift this stone in an upright position is beyond imagination. Archaeologists believe the Rudston monolith dates back to at least 2500 BC. But some point to evidence that it could be far older. Well, we know that people have lived nearby Rudston for over 11,000 years uh, in the Mesolithic era, because there have been some fantastic excavations which have revealed the oldest house dwelling in the UK. So the Rudston monolith could be as old as that. If the Rudston monolith really is 11,000 years old, that would mean it was transported and erected some 6,000 years before the invention of the wheel. And according to local historians, just as mysterious as the origins of the giant standing stone is the strange phenomena that have been observed in the area for centuries. This particular area of the Wolds is known as the Bermuda Triangle of East Yorkshire, and there's a multitude of strange phenomena that people report. Strange lights and odd occurrences in the sky and on the ground. We have reports of high strangeness in the region dating back to the 10th century. We have accounts of lights in the sky, intelligent light forms, that seem to have a purpose and a will of their own. People get electric shocks off the Rudston monolith. They have altered states, experiences. People claim to have seen green-skinned, fairy-like folk scuttling around the Rudston. Aerial phenomena are reported in that region. Lights in the sky. Weird things that happen to electronic equipment. Weird magnetic anomalies. So clearly, there is something going on there. So you have to wonder, is the Rudston monolith there because of all these strange effects? Or perhaps the Rudston monolith itself is helping create some of these effects. But how could an ancient standing stone be the source of such unusual phenomena? Are Earth energies being amplified by the monolith, just like at Karnak? Ancient astronaut theorists say yes, and suggest there is far more to the Rudston monolith than meets the eye.